Okay, welcome back. Here we'll be treating me. Previously we did um, mode and range. And range is the highest minus the lowest. Mode is the value that appeared most in a given set of number. And mean will be looking at mean. Mean simply means sharing out that given set of numbers. Okay? Sharing out that given set of numbers. We'll be trying out some examples here and you'll see how simple and easy mean goes okay now let's try this example out esther scored esther scored the following marks in eight tests her marks were 4 6 10 12 20 16 17 and 22 esther scored the following marks in eight tests 4 6 10 12 20 16 17 and 22. Now to look for the mean of those numbers, the first thing we do is to bring out the numbers or the scores or the marks. So our marks are 4, 6, 10, 12, 20, 16, 17, and 22. Now how do we look for the mean? It's very simple. We'll add all the given marks together and divide it by the number of marks. Okay? We add all the given marks together and divide it by the number of marks. So let me give us a very simple example or a very simple formula or approach to doing this. Our mean is equal to our mean is equal to the sum of Sum of all the marks divided by the number of marks, the number of marks. It's very simple. Sum of all the marks divided by the number of marks. What does that mean? It simply means it's going to be 4 plus 6 plus 10 plus 12 plus 20 plus 16, plus 17, plus 22, divided by the number of marks. How many marks? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 marks. Very simple. The sum of all the marks, divided by the number of marks, and here we have what? 8 marks. Now, how are we going to do this very simple, a simple addition? Okay, so we have 4 plus 6, which is 10, plus 10, which is 20. 20 plus 12 will give us what? 32. 32 plus 20 gives us 52. 52 plus 16 gives us 68. Okay, gives us 68. 68 plus, 68 plus um, 17 gives us... 105 105 plus 20 gives us 125 okay gives us 125 now let's go back again and see 4 plus 6 is 10 10 plus 10 is 20 20 plus 12 is 32 32 plus 20 is 52 52 plus 16 is what? 68. 68 plus 68 plus 37. 68 plus 37. This one here gives us what? 5. This one gives us 9. And 1 is 10. So. We have 105. Okay? 105 divided by 8, which is equal to what? 105 divided by what? 8. 105 divided by 8. You can use your long division. This is 105, and this is 8. 8, eight in 10 gives us 1. 1 times 8 is 8, we subtract, bring down your 5, this is 2, 8 into 5 gives us 3, 3 times 
This is 24, remainder 1. Okay? So, our answer is going to be what? 8, 13, whole number 1 over 8. So, our answer is what? 13, whole number 1 over 8. Let's go back again and see what we get. It means, simply means the sum total of all the marks or the scores divided by the number of marks or the number of times those marks had appeared, okay? So this is our marks. We have 4, 6, 10, 12, 20, 16, and 17, and 22. So we add all the marks together and divide by the number of marks, which is 4, 6, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 18, 19, and 20. So here we have what? How many marks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here we have 8 marks. Okay? So it's going to be what? The sum of all this and dividing 8 marks. So when we add all this together, we got 1 over 5 divided by 8. We have 13 whole number 1 over 8 using our long division sign. Okay? Now let's do a very simple example and see. What is the mean of the following numbers? What is the mean of the following? What is the mean of the following numbers? Four, seven, eight, ten, and twenty. What is the mean of the following numbers? Solution. Our numbers are 4, 7, 8, 10, and 20. What is the mean of the following numbers? It simply means we add all the numbers and divide by the number of times they appear, okay? So we have 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 20. Divided, let's count how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 numbers. Okay? So 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 20 divided by 5. Let's see what we get. 7 plus 4 is what? 11. 11 plus 8 is 19. 19 plus 10 is 29. 29 plus 20. 29 plus 20 is 49. So we have 49 divided by 5. 49 divided by 5. So let's use our long division. We have 49, 5. 5 and 49 is 9. 9 times this is 45. Remainder what? 4. Let's subtract this of 4. So we have what? 9 whole number 4 over 5. So this is our mean. This is simply how to calculate mean for any set of numbers, okay? Please, whenever there's a question, please do also ask and also try as much as possible to do your exercises so you understand better. Thank you.